officials are raising the alarm, joining a list of cities in central Alabama who say they are being impacted by that landfill fire in St. Clair County. Good evening, I'm Sherry Jackson. I'm Ben Hoover. That fire has been burning for nearly two months now, and now a class action lawsuit has been filed against the landfill's owners and operators. CBS 42's Jen Cardone is live for us tonight in Mountain Brook. Jen, neighbors there tell you that they can smell the smoke in their homes. Ben, especially if they live in those more elevated area areas like Cherokee Bend and Brookwood Forest, the city of Mountain Brook joining that official list and making the announcement on social media today that they're trying to work closely with St. Clair County officials to be able to clear the air across our region. You can now add Mountain Brook to the growing list of communities raising concerns about a landfill fire in Moody that started in November. This may be happening in St. Clair County, but this is now a Mountain Brook issue and we are being affected by it. City Councilwoman Graham Smith says the smell comes and goes. I mean, it kind of has that acrid undertone, but is nowhere near what people closer to the fire are experiencing. We are incredibly empathetic for all the people that that are suffering from this. Cahaba River keeper David Butler has collected three samples of water since the fire started, finding things like demolition waste, traces of gas and other chemicals. The only air or water quality data that has been provided to the people of Alabama has come from two member funded nonprofits. I find that particularly disturbing. Butler and Michael Hansen from the Greater Birmingham Alliance to Stop Pollution held an informational meeting Tuesday to let people know they're working to be transparent because they too have not been able to get clear answers on what's in the smoke. The more that we can get the word out about uh, what the health risks are of the smoke and the, all the pollution, um, as well as uh, shine a light on how the government agencies are responding or not responding. I think that goes a long way. Hansen pointing to purple air monitors around the fire, showing higher levels of dust and soot in the air closest to the landfill. And the best outcome would be from a collaborative relationship where we could work together for the benefit of everybody in Alabama. Now, several of us here at CBS 42 have worked to get clear answer for answers from state officials on how exactly they could help to put an end to this. In the meantime, if you'd like to check out some of those air quality reports, you can go ahead into the CBS 42 News app. I have information on that right there. Just look for this story. Reporting live in Mountain Brook, Jen Cardone, CBS 42 News. Local coverage you can count on.